Hello again. Uh, we start chapter 9, Differential Equations, DE in short. Modeling with uh, differential equations, it's our first section. We only cover three sections in this chapter. And first of all, what is a differential equation? Okay, so a differential equation is an equation that contains an unknown function and some of its derivatives. In this section we are only looking at uh, the differential equations and checking whether the given solutions, potential solutions, are indeed solutions. So let's take a look at uh, 17 on page 611. Which of the following functions are solutions of the differential equation? So here's an example. Second derivative plus the function equals sine x. And they're giving us four options. I'm just going to look at option B and option D. Okay. Option B. They're giving us for B y equals cosine x. They're only asking us now to uh, show whether this is a solution of this uh, differential equation. Later on in this chapter, we will learn how to um, solve simple differential equations. And I'll mention then um, a method of sep you know, separable differential equations. Uh, that's for later. So is this function a solution of the differential equation? I don't know. I have y, but I have to determine the second derivative, and then check. So first derivative will be negative sine x, and the second derivative will be negative cosine x. So when I plug in negative cosine x and plus cosine x, which is y, does this equal sine x? The answer is no. So I will say not a solution. Let's check uh, option D. In option D, they're giving us y equals negative 1 half x times cosine x. And the same question, is this function a solution of the given differential equation? I don't know. I have to find a second derivative. So we start with the first derivative. Careful, this is the product rule. So negative 1 half, the first function prime is 1 times cosine x, and then minus 1 half x, and multiplied by the second function prime, which is negative sine x. I try to simplify a little bit and just remove parentheses. So from here, I have that y prime, negative 1 half cosine x, and plus 1 half x sine x. This is just the first derivative. We need the second derivative. So let's continue, page 2, okay, second derivative, uh, negative 1 half cosine prime is negative sine, so this is 1 half sine x, again the product rule here, plus 1 half sine x, and plus 1 half x sine prime, which is cosine x. Now I go back to the differential equation in which I, let's we'll write one more step here. So this is sine x plus 1 half x cosine x. So um, the second derivative in the differential equation. So here it is, sine x plus 1 half x cosine x, then plus y and y is minus 1 half x cosine x. So this was the second derivative plus y. Question, does this equal sine x? Yes, it does. Sine x equals sine x. So I'll come back here to option D or part D. Yes, it is a solution of the differential equation. Uh, let's also look at one more uh, here, number 21, on the same page, 611. And in number 21, we are given 
a population is modeled by the differential equation. So dp over dt equals 1.2p, 1 minus p over 4200. Here we have a few parts. Part A, for what values of p is the population increasing? So we know the population is increasing when its derivative is positive. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. Also, part B, when is the population decreasing? We already know this from Calc 1. When the, the derivative of a function is negative, then the function is decreasing. And then uh, part C. Okay, but let's address part, um, parts A and B first. What I'd like to present is a table in which I have dp over dt, and sometimes, if it's necessary, also um, the function p. I didn't mean a t, a p here, but I meant t. t is a variable in the problem. So um, t is time, so it can be 0 to whatever. I don't know. Uh, we know that dp over dt, what I simply by inspection here, is 0 in two possible, to a situation when, when p is 0 and when p is 4200. So 4200 is 0. Now I only need to study the sign of the derivative. So now when I replace or I put in in the derivative, let's say 100, this will be positive. So 100 over this, 1 minus, this is a tiny number. So obviously, this will be a positive number. So what if we put in, uh, let's say, 10,000? 10, 10,000 over this will be a negative number, which will definitely be more than negative, more, more than 1. So this quantity will be negative with p10,000 and p10,000. So obviously, this is the case. So the function, in this case, in, is increasing between 0 and 4,200, and it's decreasing past 4,200. OK. Um, the equilibrium solutions, when we're asked the, about the equilibrium solutions, they are exactly p equals 0 and p equals 4,200. Those are the equilibrium solutions. That's all we needed in, uh, in this section. Thank you.